In the previous episode, we saw how given three matrices divided into tiles, we can use tensor cores to perform a matrix multiplication on them. If you didn't watch that episode, you might want to catch up on it. If you think that you know enough about CUDA already and want to jump straight to optimizations, or you've already watched that episode, then stick around. As in this episode, we will implement hierarchical tiling to speed up our matrix multiplications. Since we are using tensor cores, we can abstract away single elements and start thinking of our matrices in terms of tiles. We will start by thinking of an even bigger matrix. We can now divide this matrix into multiple hierarchically constructed tiles. In this setup, each warp produces 4 output tiles, and each block produces 16 output tiles. We start similarly as before, by zeroing out our accumulator. Our input tiles initially start far away, in a slow global memory. We then load first parts of our tiles to faster shared memory. And when loading our tiles, we can do that using faster vectorized loads. Then, all warps in a block will load the data of the first input matrix from shared memory into their registers. Afterwards, we do a similar thing for our second matrix, but this time each warp loads only one tile from shared memory to registers. We then perform the first and then the second MMA instruction on the tiles that were already in our registers. This is how hierarchical tiling speeds up our memory access. We do one global memory access per tile, that is then loaded four times from much faster shared memory to registers that reuse it two more times. When all that is done, we can load another tile part of the second input matrix from shared memory to fill next output tiles and perform the next series of MMA operations. We can now load another row and column of our input matrices from global to shared memory. And we continue as before, loading from shared memory into registers, while reusing the data as much as possible for our MMA instructions. We continue with this pattern until we reach the end of our input matrices. Also, the 2x2 two two tile sizes that I've shown here are not exactly indicative of what our real-world tile sizes would be. For benchmarking it, I've been running for different configurations and saving the fastest one. As always, all code is available on my GitHub, that is linked in the description for those that want to read through all of it and run it on your own machines. Last time, we measured how much flops we are getting with our tensor core kernel and compared it to what the theoretical maximum of our GPU is. By utilizing hierarchical tiling and reducing our global memory accesses, we can get much higher throughput, even up to 4.8 times higher than we were getting with our original plain tensor core kernel. But that's still off from our theoretical maximum. And to be honest, this is something that we will never achieve. To see what is the state of the art, we can run Kublas kernels from NVIDIA. This will be our reference point from now on. And in the next episode, we'll once again move closer to this line. My channel is not monetizing through any sort of advertisement. And it's only because I get occasional donations from people who enjoy the work that I do here, and those donations are sufficient enough for me to buy all the essential gear for making those videos. I'd like to take this moment to thank them a lot for doing so. And if you want to become one of them, you can visit my Buy Me A Coffee page. And you can always support me for free, by subscribing, leaving a like, commenting, and sharing this video with your friends. It really helps grow the channel. I would also ask you for a bit of help. I've been using X to promote those videos, but my account got flagged as a bot recently, and I'm unable to get it back for two months now, 
even after sending many appeals. If you know someone who works at X or can help me in any other way, I'd truly appreciate it as it really helped me promote the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.